welcome everyone to uh, Hold the L uh, number two, round one. We have uh, Hayden versus Ruben. And we uh, have whose Nick game tag is and actually me on mics, and I'm recording in somewhere in Skype 2001, so forgive the quality. Nah, it's all good, man. As you know, it leads to that <laughs> really hype Leroy Jenkin kind of moments. You know, those yes. classic moments that we look for in hey, Hold the L. Uh, and that might so, just what do we... because we got Hayden playing Captain Falcon, which is a known hype character and, and a known hype player as well. He loves his stylish plays, and I'm ready to see them in today. Yeah, uh, I'll look forward to it, man. I just want to see a Falcon punch right off stage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Off to a very even start, I think. 73 74. Mm -hmm. You know, each player just trading a few hits in here and there. Um, getting towards that kill percentage oh, now. Oh no! Ooh. Of the match from Hayden, that, there's nobody who's that, doing there. Unfortunately, that's, that's not quite hype. Yeah, <laughs> no. I think that was a flubbed, uh, flubbed air dodge. So, mm, that's yeah, not a problem that's... playing online, unfortunately. Gonna be a few mistakes like that, but that's yeah, alright. He's a... frame rate's getting a bit choppy as well, but he's come back pretty strong. This donkey already on 153%, and him, he's just not letting up on that Kong. <laughs> He's just not letting up. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> that was very nice. The spike. He's still on 56%, so it's still a very... I wouldn't say even, but it's definitely comebackable. Although... Yeah, that's very true. Ruben, he's, he's really gone on the offensive, this stacking... Stacking Hayden up to 96%. It's in... That was like 30 seconds of him spawning. Yeah, definitely a lot of good credit uh, on Ruben's part. But, oh my gosh! Hayden is popping off right now, and just as, just as well, I've got that rombo combo mic quality. We're in for some real good plays now. Oh, definitely. But you know, Ruben answered right back with that forward smash, and now we're back to the last stock. One one stock well, each. For both of them, quite even. Apart from that falcon kick, puts Hayden with a little bit of an advantage, which is quickly taken away with by the one throw and the one end smash. Ooh, a, a, a nice knee connecting. Knee oh, tries to get for a second. Not quite make that knee. That was a very ambitious move. Again with the F smash. I think he's catching on to Hayden's uh, wanting to get back onto stage kind of thing. He's been pushing, yeah. trying to push middle of stage quite a bit. Speaking of hype, I wouldn't mind a neutral B from the Donkey Kong off stage. Like, Donkey Kong has some good stuff as well, if you can land it properly. Mm. So, yeah. you know, either way, if I can see something cool, I'm happy to scream into my mic, man. Yeah, so far, so far, Ruben's been playing quite proper, this Donkey Kong. He hasn't been really going for- Ooh! <laughs> just as I say that, just as I say that. <laughs> Beautiful. Big yeah. Donkey Punch. He's been applying that, uh... Jam election knowledge that he attended, yeah. you know, the spacing, maintaining the center stage, all the lessons imparted by uh, Mr. L. Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> showing <laughs> how JML can reach <laughs> those higher levels. That instant replay. Uh, A nice dash tech just stands there for a little bit, spaces it perfectly, watching and that oh. Perfect space control. And do you think that kind of moved back forward a bit with a little bit of bait from Ruben? Like, you know, uh, I'm just going to go back into the stage, you know, just chill back for a bit. But no, I'm going to land a big fat punch right in your face. No mercy. I think a bit of, you know, baiting out uh, Hayden, a bit of also just getting the perfect spacing. And I will say that was very well spaced, you know, out of the way of a get up attack, ready for a rolling if need be. Um, very much well played by Ruben's part. So it's game one going to Ruben. Right <laughs> Spacing very underestimated, but slowly and steadily, I'm sure we'll all learn the importance of it and the power it has within this yeah. game. Huh, um, so... very. Sorry, you go. Yeah. So, what kind of map do you think they'll pick next? Ah, oh, I was gonna ask you the Are same we question. See any small battlefield. Well, the problem is we don't know what Hayden's gonna play. Is he gonna stick mm. to the Captain Falcon height? Is he just playing the question mark? I'm very keen to see what he picks. As for Ruben yeah. playing Ganondorf, I think anything with Platts, honestly, would actually be good for him. Because so, if someone lands on Platt, Doria will cover so much of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that Doria is actually pretty scary when you had ledge. Like, you know, Ganondorf can't really do any agility options like hop off and try and bear you to the stage or like try and knock you far away from the stage, but he's got that Doria and, and you know, he's got to cover like two of your options immediately with that things. 
Yeah, exactly. He's very slow, but he's got the big Doria, and that's all he needs. He is a tank. He will take the hits, and he will dish it back in one hit. Oh, all right, really? here we go. Really, Ooh. another Hayden staple. Something yes, that I haven't have seen... seen him pull out for quite a bit in last season as well. Yeah, I haven't seen too much of his really actually, so very much looking forward to seeing this. And, you know, we have the clash of the heavies here. We have the Relay versus yeah, Jonkon. Con. big characters with very big hitboxes on a rather large stage this time. Yeah. Both of them are choosing to go to Townend City, which is one of the largest legal stages available. And with the interesting placement of the plats. Got to see mm. some pretty, pretty uh, 500 IQ plays here, hopefully. Oh, hundred percent. It's the one thing I love about Town City. A lot of people will give it. Um, well, they're not quite happy with you know uh, the platforms moving in and out. You know, it becoming yeah, essentially straight into that up smash. I mean, Ooh, it's it's that great grab. read for that command grab. Yeah, and that's the thing with a Ridley command grab. It just take, takes a while to start up, but if you get grabbed by it, you're not going to have a good time, especially on a yeah. stage. But Given it's Town and City, we got a bit of leeway, and that they're, you know, really fat characters, anyways. Yeah, 100%. And then we see it coming to play, and oh, it always takes them out, even even if it's a heavy at 180, 19%. And Donkey Kong is at full charge here, so look out for the Donkey Punch. I'm sorry. Choosing to go for the get up attack again, and failing again. Well, what will we do now, knowing that Hayden's got two of the ground options covered? He'll recover! He'll recover very well! And, uh, just as I was about to say, and the Kong's not dead. Also, you've gone kinda dead there, Nick. You good? You good? Uh, test, test, test. Yeah, your mic is pretty quiet at the moment, so you might wanna, you know. Ah, uh, man, I'll be back. It's solo comms, do it! Haha, <laughs> please help me! Okay, so, back to the match here. Hayden is in a bit of a sticky situation at 104% last stock, with Baha on 5%, two stocks. So, he's gonna have to do some pretty nice playing to make it back. And, just as I say, <laughs> I'm putting I'm putting everyone through a lot of commentators' curse, so I gotta forgive me for that. But yeah, now that R Ruben's on, this, on the, his last stock, with Hayden really just popping off on the ground here, Yo, last stock, Poggers? Can yeah. he make this back? <laughs> oh, oh, that stylish. was an interesting option. Yeah, no, no, that's what I love about Hayden's plays. He's so stylish. He'll he'll just go for it. If he kills him, then so be it. He'll just go for that stylish play, get that clip, and everyone's gonna <laughs> go home probably bruised by him. <laughs> yeah, trying to make it onto Yeet Smash or one of those other channels. I mean, yeah. and that's all you really want in the, in life, you know. That's, that's some people. Want, that's yeah. all they want. You just want to flex, you want that clout. Exactly. Don't show them the clip of you losing, just show them the clip of you being awesome, Ooh, that's all you the need. roll behind, down smash. That's has got quite a few times, like the roll behind. Ah, uh, yes indeed. And so, Ruben taking game two, moving on to potentially the final and last game. Uh, depending on whether or not Hayden can make it back, will he stick to Ridley, or will he change to a different character? Yeah, but still, even as we talk about it, that was quite a commendable comeback from Hayden. Like, down down to one stock 90%, while hey, Ruben is still essentially running on two fresh stocks. He made it back with that against Ruben's second stock very well, and I think it was just at the end when he was <laughs> trying to go f too much for the style that he kind of lost out there. Otherwise, mm, very yeah. commendable comeback from Hayden. I agree. It's just not quite enough, so hopefully we'll see some... I would love to see his Wii Fit Trainer. Like, I can respect him going for all these different characters, but his Wii Fit Trainer is something to be reckoned with. Yeah, So, it, we'll see how it goes. Scary. Especially since he's been practicing lots of header combos, like, just a lot of things around that soccer ball. And, and you know, if you're at the edge, you're like, even if you try to edge guard him, he'll, he'll chuck that soccer ball your way, and then he'll just ruin your day, get back on for free, continue just pounding you. Yeah, it's such a jank theme, but I also love it so much, especially with the amount of stuff you can do against Wii Fit Trainer as well. I remember once, you know, Bowser Jr., uh, the Co Mecha Koopa, just, you know, walking along, balls just riding on the ground, explodes it, kills Wii Fit Trainer. Like, mm -hmm. that's, what I, that's what I love to see. Anything jank like that. Yeah. I mean, as a player, it's a bit sad when you, you know, your own oh. mechanic kills you. <laughs> you see that, he pulled out his rod. Just as I was saying, <gasps> before Yo! he was playing just kind of silly this time, but no, looks like he's gonna, he's got the series running out, pulled out the yeah. big guns. 
I haven't seen this in ages, so it's been good to see a nice classic return. Uh, uh, will it be enough to answer back? Yeah, it's, that's another thing. I haven't seen his Rob in ages either, and I, I'm one of the people that play him regularly, so... And even if I don't see the Rob regularly, it means that he could be a little rusty with it, so... That's another interesting thing to consider. Like, yeah, Rob definitely. Is scary. He could be a little rusty, but as we see here, it's a pretty strong start with him already racking up 67% on the Donkey Kong. And now up to yeah. 84%. Look at that, that shield poke was beautiful, and a beautiful Ooh. snipe Ooh, as harassment. well. Harassment, harassment at the ledge. That's one of the scariest things about the mob. Just the the amount of harassment he can dole out at the edge, especially against a character with no reflectors, or just no high recovery in general. Yeah, that's, a, that's how I think of Donkey Kong. His recovery is very much predictable. You know, it's that diagonal, horizontal. Yeah, uh, in very to easy very to... short horizontal range, that's very easy to jack, especially if the character with such a powerful, with, you know, so many powerful ledge options like Rob. Oh, definitely. Like, the spinning top as well, like, it's a great ledge tool. You can use it to, you know, cover their get-up attack, uh, get-up options. You can use it to snipe them off ledge. Mm -hmm. Makes it very difficult for them to get back. Yeah, really and he's still so holding on to his first stop. That's just as I was about to say. Again with the commentators, because it's been happening so much with me. <laughs> uh, That's alright, man. You can't escape the commentator's curse. But all you gotta do is accept it and, you know, <laughs> hopefully yeah. get it in a way that is hype. But yeah, Roman's looking all much more confident now, especially now that he's gotten closer to the Rob. I think that's his main goal. If he can get close enough to the Rob, then his own powerful moves can definitely snuff out Rob's. Yes, indeed. But, you know, getting close to the very hard thing to do, and, you know, he's yeah, doing very well to get credit right now. Like, away from the Rob, because that's where Rob really shines, as we can see here. So I think Ribbon's one of the things that he's done this round is just to rise up and get close to the Rob, rather than just stay away. Ooh, good sight there from yeah, Hayden. Very good job with Snipe. And that's... Oh, a shield break? Ooh, What's he gonna do? You think he's gonna make it? Yep, Barry and... But oh, that's right, Hayden still holds enough. on though. Yeah, yep. it's, it, I don't think As... that was enough, is it? Oh, when he loses out with an SD! No! That's so, so no. unfortunate, man! That's a 0% SD! Oh, uh, golly gosh. Okay. It's very unfortunate, but he still has the lead here. He's still two games up. Uh, yeah, Hayden, no team back. Catch out that one game. No team exactly. Uh, being a bit more respectful than what we've usually seen out of him. The man mm, loves his yeah. bags, he loves his crouches. He loves all that, all that fun stuff, but I guess this time he's tempered a bit. Yeah, definitely, and that's something that I think he does quite well, getting inside his opponent's head, you know, mm. uh, reading them, getting them into a mindset that they're comfortable. So... One of the strongest things about Hayden is, one, his mindset, and two, his adaptability. Like, if you can figure out the way you play, then you're pretty much doomed from there. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you there. It's been many situations I've played against him, and he's adapted he's figured out what i want to do and he just i don't know he, he just gets me in the mindset that i don't know how to answer back to him after he's adapted so he's very good at what he does i must say i mean if, if he with the kind of like getting inside your opponent's head and understanding how they work oh, oh, <gasps> the trainer, let's go the oh yeah, i'm so hyped for this, this. <laughs> yeah, is he yeah. this? <laughs> he, i want to listening to you somehow uh, probably. Yeah, coming up the serious characters, and so early into the into the whole tournament, when before he was always talking about like playing a bit silly with Koro and playing around some characters. But either way, it's gonna be interesting to see the Wii Fit Trainer make a, make a comeback so early in the season. Yeah, oh, I'm happy to see it though. Style master. Like, especially with this matchup, the one thing I want to see now is some dunks. You know, you have Donkey Kong who has these four spikes. You have Wi-Fi Trainer with that side beast spike as well, so hopefully we get to see. Sniping. Oh, he went it's... for it. He went for a spike, but got stuffed out by the recovery. Yeah, it's Coming a great a option, I think. Slightly bigger hitbox. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and here we go with a low. <laughs> Ooh. No, by my donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great answer that he has at the moment. Just. You know, using his range from these new characters, his Rob, his, you know, Wii Fit Trainer, just keeping, you know, Donkey Kong out, getting some chip damage in here and there, 
and just yeah, going for the kill. Characters. It's like, you know, they've got such powerful projectiles, so the preferred method is just to have the donkey at the other side of the ledge, but he can't do anything because he's got no projectiles, and just to harass him with projectiles until, you know, he gets mad enough, tries to go for something, and that's where Hayden can trap him and go for that stylish kill. Yeah, exactly. And it's working very well, so we definitely need to see, I think, an adaptation from uh, oh, Ruben here, because... Exactly. Very, very strong lead, and into 38%, I think. I think he's definitely got it inside Ruben's head at this point. Yeah. The first two games, maybe that was all his plan, you know, he's just mastering, you know, yeah. uh, getting Ruben comfortable, getting close, and then switching yeah, and it up. learning how he plays with Donkey Kong, and then he's just, hmm. you know, slowly coming back from it. That's, I guess that's one of the powers of, like, Hayden's type of play, like, his skill set. Mm. This is very, very adaptable. Mm. But, yeah. yeah, as I said, if you see there, like, even, even when you're trying to ledge trap him and he's in disadvantage, you can just ping out that soccer ball and just instantly stuff you out. Just stop when you're the fighting. When you play against him at the ledge, you just have to be very non-committal. You, you gotta know that... You know, like that quote from Heat, if, if the Heat is coming around the corner, you have to be able to get out in 30 seconds. Ooh, golly gosh, beautiful answer one. there. Mm. I didn't even know how he killed him there, but that was amazing. Yeah. It's 2-2 two -two now, all tied up. Mm. As we move into game. set from Hayden, considering he was basically sitting on two fresh stocks, like, you know, like game two with Hayden, with, with Ruben. Yeah, oh, he 100% controlled the pace of that game there. Mm. Like, he's very comfortable at the moment, so... I think what we need to see from Ruben is just, uh... Baiting out these... Change? A character change would be maybe an option maybe, here. Maybe, yeah. If he sticks to Donkey Kong, I think he just needs to bait out some of these projectiles and... Not necessarily chase Hayden off stage. like... You need to be close enough to the edge, you know, that you can cover yeah. his options. Definitely, but otherwise, but saying that like baiting out the projectiles, it's still a tough ask for Donkey Kong because he's such a huge character. Like projectiles are just gonna hit him anyway, so he needs to. If he's gonna come back from something like, <laughs> just as I say that. <laughs> oh, it, I, I don't know how I feel about this option. I appreciate it, but at the same time, no, is it the right choice? That, that Hayden is gonna do this because you know he loves his style, and like now that he's come back at least. I think that's him thinking, you know, mission complete. Now I just want to play, really play, just have fun. Yeah, and he's really having fun at the he's moment right now. He's all over uh, Ruben. All over the stage, all over... yeah, considering such a small stage as well. Uh, this mm. stage would have been, it would have been Ruben's pick. So I think he had it in yeah. his mind to like try and constrain Hayden a bit, try and stop the projectile spam, but Hayden's answered right back for his own Kong, the the Bonzi buddy. Mmm. Definitely interesting stage week, and I think it's a good option from Ruben's part indeed. Mm. But yeah, let's see how it goes. I mean, you know, they are heavies, and so while Hayden does have the lead, one good hit in can possibly do- My oh, god, the reverse beyond on that! That was sick! Yes, yes, Never believe in them. <laughs> they, they lie and cheat and steal. You yeah. don't know until you try it, man. He's and I appreciate that effort. And Hayden is still sitting very comfortably at 73%, which is not at all near kill percent, even for someone against Donkey Kong. Mm. The big, big, big monkey. Yes, indeed. And, you know, Hayden's definitely putting in some good extra credit here. Mm. Getting uh, Ruben all the way to 100%. Now a kill percentage. A mm. full stock up. Ruben really needs to make something happen there. Tries to get the back throw, doesn't quite make the kill. Mm, if it's, oh, he misses, misses the back air. That would have been a kill with the back air if Hayden had jumped, but, you know, he's too smart for that. He ooh, goes for a back air of his own, but nothing comes out of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they'd be heavy boys. They'd be living for a while. Oh, nice punish. This should do it. No, that, that'll definitely do it, even, even with a heavy boy. 166%? Bye-bye. that big old uh, Yeah, 166. Might be kill spend percentage by that point. Just maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, it'd be interesting to see see how, how, Hayden, how high Hayden's HP goes. Wow! Well, not that high, unfortunately. It's a That's alright. Gee, I, I, I wrong with someone curse. doesn't dash attack at this moment. <laughs> Dash attack mid-air? <laughs> nah, the curse isn't nah. strong enough for that. 
Oh, there was a dish attack! Hey! Yeah. Duh! Sakurai's gotta put a stop to that. It's not how you play the game. Oh, oh beautiful! It's how you play the game! That quack, is a quack, very quack, quack. comeback from Hayden. That was three wins in a row for Hayden. Very strong yeah. comeback. Oh, 100%. Well played by Hayden in the end. A beautiful comeback indeed. Mm. Some interesting character choices, a yeah. great variety. Absolutely uh, love I it. I but... enjoy watching Hayden matches. Especially, like, what you said about, like, Hayden just kind of scoping out Ruben, downloading him for the first two matches. I think that was definitely true. Like, given that strong comeback. Sitting on mm. two stocks, like, basically two fresh stocks, like, for both Game 4 and Game 5. Yeah, as some final words, I think Ruben also did a very good job to start with. I just think he needs to work on an adaptive plan or a counter plan to projectiles or, you know, being adapted against. Uh, any final thoughts from you, Ophelia? It's just, you know, good on both of the players and we'll see what comes for them next, next, next uh, week. I've, I've lost out of say words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Uh, we'll end it there. It's like 10 o'clock almost. Just Yo, uh, vibing at this point. This is prime, you know, commentating hours. Oh no, 3 o'clock's prime commentating hours. Because that's when all the shit just comes out. <laughs>